Hi everybody, welcome back to our last faith and fun creation activity. I can't believe it. We're already on the seventh day. It just seems like yesterday we were starting on this, but it's been a good seven months. So um, today we are going to talk about the end of the creation story. So let's go ahead and read that part from the Bible. It's in the book of Genesis, remember? Now, if you have your Ziploc bag that was in the April kit, go ahead and pull out the page that has the story on it and we'll read it together. All right. So the heavens and the earth and everything in them were completed. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all of his work. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. He rested on it. After he had created everything, he rested from all of the work he had done. That's it. That's the, that's the story. Isn't it amazing? Think about all the things that we have done so far and that are part of the creation story, right? It is this whole week. Day one was he created light so that we could have night and day. Day two, he created the water. See back there? He created water so that there would be oceans and then the water up in the sky, right? So that it would snow and rain and everything like that. Very much needed. We all need water every day. Number three, he created, oh, let me see this. Oh, he created land, plants, and trees. And that was so that we have, would have a place to live on the earth, right? And the oceans were already there for the water. So now he created the land and the plants and the trees. Also stuff for us to eat, right? From the plants. Day four, he created the sun, moon, and stars. And that's so that it was the great universe that our world is in. Day five, he created the fish and the birds. Again, wonderful animals to have on the earth, but something for uh, people to eat as well, right? So he's getting ready for us humans. That's what he did day six, right? He did the animals and man. That's when we came alive. And day seven, whew, he was tired. So he had done a lot of work, so he rested. So make sure this Sunday, which is our seventh day, right? And that's our day for rest and to go to church. So make sure on our next Sunday that you say thank you to God for making this amazing place that you live. All right, so let's go on to the craft. You should have, like I said, your your bag, your Ziploc bag from your kit. Um, let's go through it, what you need. First, you will need your paper plate. And look, it says rest on it because that's what God did on the seventh day. You will have a bag of beads like that. Be careful, it should be good, but be careful, don't spill it. You will have your plate label, and you will either have a piece of twine or a piece of ribbon to tie up so you can hang them up, okay? So, one of the things I did, which I thought was fun, which would be one of the first things that you would do, is it's kind of plain just to have the word rest on here, right? Kind of boring. So I went ahead and I colored mine. All right, I decided to make a rainbow, but other ideas are you can make, you know, it all kind of blue with some clouds on there, or you can make it all look like a sun, or you can just draw a picture of you playing under the rest, anything you want. So I'm gonna do this a couple times because there's some big projects on here that'll take a little time. Um, if you wanna go ahead and color your plate first, because I actually colored it after I'd done the rest and the beads on here, um, you can get it. This is in dark black ink, so don't color heavily over it, but you should still be able to see the word rest on there, okay? So pause the video while you color a picture if you want and restart when you're all done, all right? All right, so now that you're done, because we're gonna have glue, we wanna do everything else beforehand. So we're gonna take our plate label and put it on the back of our plate. So turn it over. Use your glue stick line here and glue up the back of the label. There we go. So I put glue all on the back of my label and then I put it onto the back of my plate. 
and I'll show you that, okay? So that way, later on, you can just say, oh, what was that day? And that tells you, day seven, God rested, all right? So now we're ready to put the beans onto the letters. You will need some liquid glue. That's the best way to do it. And we kind of do this one letter at a time. So when you're looking at this, what you want to do is pick some beans out and you will, don't put any glue down yet. You want to put the beans on here first, right? So you pick a bean and you start filling in the word rest. And I use, if you can see, I use a lot of different color beans and different size beans, right? So I did the outline of the R first in the beans. When it was all good, I went ahead and I just kind of scooted away and then I took my glue and I outlined the R, okay? With the glue stick, or not glue stick, with the glue. And then I put the beans on. You gotta get a little glue on your fingers, that's okay. Just kind of mark it off, it's all right. So just do one letter at a time, okay? So first put the beans down, clear them off, put the glue on, then put the beans on, move on to the next letter. So this will take you a couple minutes to do, definitely. So go ahead and pause the video and start when you're finished. All right, the last thing. So now you should have all your beans on here. Don't pick it up like this because they'll go whoop and flop all down. That's no good. So what we'll do is we'll just keep it flat for now, right? And probably once it's all dry like mine is, that's when you'll take your little piece of twine or ribbon and put it through the hole, right, and tie the knot. I'll do the knot. And you can ask your parents for help. Ask your parents for help on anything here, right? They're here to help you. They would love to help you. All right, so you tie the knot. Okay, everything's good. So that is our last day that we rested. So thank you so much for going on this journey with me. I think this has been a fun story to create on these plates. Um, I really wanna see your plate. I've been looking at them so far and they've been so amazing. You guys are great at this. Um, so remember on the live binder, there's the tab that you can click on there and you can submit a picture. Um, and we've been putting some in the bulletin, so make sure you check the bulletins for those. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, I am really looking forward to next year after this summer. I don't know how it's gonna look. I really, Fingers crossed, prayers to God that um, we can actually see each other in person. So we will we will figure that out when we figure it out. Um, otherwise, have an amazing summer and uh, I will see you guys all again uh, in August. Thank you. Bye.